keeping a real tour bus is making the 14 hour trip to Harrisburg, Illinois, and we're gonna be checking out Williams Hill Pass. Now we've never even ridden in Illinois before, so this will be a totally new experience for us. We know they've got some great deer hunting, so now we're gonna check out the four wheel. Body with the view, baby, right here. I tell you what, boy, this would be a real good deer hunting spot. Time to saddle up, boys, because it's about to get up. Rolling along and keeping a real tour bus here. The girls are back there making lunch. This beats the heck out of riding the whole way out here in a pickup truck. Nobody has to stop to go to the bathroom. Just roll right on through. It's awesome. Williams Hill Pass is located about nine miles southeast of Harrisburg, Illinois, three hours from Nashville, three hours from St. Louis, between the communities of Mitchellsville and Rudiment. And two of those miles are on a, a road, a gravel road, off the main highway. <laughs> yeah, we found that out. Peak road. <laughs> this isn't your normal Good thing Parker. we got insurance on the route. Wow. Becky, oh. did you tell them we were bringing a big bus? Yes. <laughs> What'd they say? <laughs> she didn't warn me. No. Okay, here we go, you guys. Done? Are you Jimmy? Yes, I am. Hi, I'm Brian. Nice to nice meet, to meet you. you. Yes, thanks for having me. Nice trails. We've got them. We don't have the largest number of trails, but most of them are freshly groomed with a bulldozer, so they're in we good shape. No face flappers. It's about quality. Yeah, they're in good it's quality shape. Riding. Yeah, yep. That's that's better than quantity any day. I tell you, one of the coolest things about being out on the Keeping It Real tour is we meet so many great people and coming to the more family oriented, small, simple parks like this is just a bonus for us because we get to meet these people and hang out and hear stories and they tell their stories and we tell our stories and then we go out and hit the trail together. These are the kind of things that just builds friendships and relationships for us all across the country. Easter of 1999, my brother Jay Williams uh, told me about the OHV grant program through the Illinois Department of Natural Resources, and um, we decided to go for it. You know, I grew up on motorcycles, our whole family grew up on motorcycles, and it was like, wow, this would be an opportunity of a lifetime. And I loved to camp, and it was like, well, we could just turn this into a family park where people can ride and camp and have fun. We're having us a riders meeting. Going to discuss what we're going to do out on the trail today. We got a nice trail ride planned here at Williams Hill Pass. It's a nice day out. We're going to enjoy it. It's a little bit crisp and cool, but that's good for riding. We have about 226 acres and uh, have about 18 mile of trail 
We've redone a lot of our trails for UTVs and four-wheelers, made them a little wider than they normally are. It's a marked trail system. We have aggressive trails and family trails, and all the trails go one direction. We give people a map when they come in, and we'll show them where they're at and how to get to the nearest trail system, and then uh, explain to them that the orange is family and the white's aggressive. And when you get somewhere, you, there's always an option. Sometimes the aggressive people are riding on the same trail, but they all lead different places. Stay connected with Brian and Fisher's ATV World by joining them on Facebook and Twitter. Fisher's ATV World is brought to you by Progressive ATV Insurance, Hatfield and McCoy Trails, Can-Am, ITP Tires and Wheels, Ride Royal Blue, and Yamaha. We got a lot of people on this ride. We had to cut back a little bit. It's a whole bunch of people. It takes a long time filming. But man, other than that, we're having a good time checking out this new trail. We're actually getting ready to head down into a different trail, Woods Trail. This is more of a kid's trail. Reminds me of a smaller version of a Durham town in Georgia. That's what this reminds me of. 10 years ago, this was cattle pasture. Yeah. We just let it grow up. The, the forest is down here, the fun stuff. The Shawnee National Forest borders almost all of the property. This area is a lot of hills and forests. We're sitting in the heart of the beautifulest part of the state. That's a nice hill there. For you thrill seekers, that's a good hill. They're gonna do some clearing out down there and put a trail system down there. It's, it's about seven acres. So they'll take some trees out, put a trail in, but uh, that's a pretty cool hill. I like that. That's good stuff. Had stuff flying everywhere. The old Terex was spitting stuff out. What do you got on there, Mayhems? Got Mayhems on there. Got the ITP Mayhems on there, and it was throwing stuff everywhere, coming up over there. I had to back off a little bit. We allow anything, really, that can't be licensed for highway use, four-wheelers, dirt bikes, UTVs, we're getting a lot of the side-by-sides now. I mean, just it seems like everybody come in. Then you can take your whole family, you know, and ride. Um, we get dune buggies and go-karts and golf carts. And <laughs> Ryan, I've seen on your show a bunch of times that you initiated things. I really would like to initiate our trailer for us. Oh, I see that. I don't know if I brought my official initiation kit along. Well, you didn't. Oh, look at that right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can initiate that for sure. Potty with the view, baby, right here. I tell you what, you drink your coffee, you come out here in the morning, you eat your raisin bran, you have a kick in right there. I'm telling you, this is it. I'm telling you right now, boy, this would be a real good deer hunting spot. You could deuce it up and hunt deer all at once. Tell everybody up there what it says. Crap on and keeping it real. <laughs> That's it. That's living. These people in Illinois, they know how to live. This is a family-oriented ATV park. A lot of neat trails. It's small, it's controlled, a very controlled atmosphere. Everything's fenced in, and it's a safe, it's a safe place for families. 
Had a good ride. That was cool. We had a good time. A little bit of everything out there. We love anything outdoors. We love four-wheelers. I love the mud. This is one of the only four-wheeler places I've ever been to that is 100% family friendly. There's a lot of volunteer work done by the Christian Motorcyclists Association up here. There's a lot of families that just volunteer because they love it themselves so much. We feel like we have family when we come up here. We're open all year round. We close for riders during shotgun season for safety purposes, but we allow hunters to come in and rent the cabins. We have a bunch of neat uh, tent sites. Then we've got a bunch of electrical hookups with 50 and 30 amp service. We don't have water at the electrical sites, but we have potable water at the Welcome Center, which is like a minute away on four-wheeler. And then we've got the dump station where they, they can dump before they leave. On the Keeping It Real Tour, I have an opportunity sometimes to sit around and talk to people and tell the story of us getting started and a Q&A, and that's really where we get to know a lot of people a little bit better. It was just a dream, and that's all it was, and that's all I was running on. I was running on a dream and adrenaline and just not taking no for an answer. It just wasn't ever, ever, ever giving up. Watch him every week, and we feel like we know him a little bit, and we know his, his habits, as you can tell, you know, that we see on TV. But you know, it's like, is he really that way? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, definitely, real cool dude. This portion of Fisher's ATV World has been brought to you by Motosport.com. Every year I try and get up to the Eastern Sports and Outdoor Show in Harrisburg, PA, and Diamondback Truck Covers always has a booth up there. Well, this year, they asked me if I'd bring my Ford F-250 up there and show it off a little bit. As you know, I got the HD truck cover. I put two ATVs up on mine, but not everybody needs something that heavy duty. You might not want to haul heavy loads like that. So no matter what you're looking for, Diamondback has a truck cover for you. We come to this show. It's a hunting, fishing, outdoor show. A lot of guys ride ATVs, but a lot of them don't. And the ones that don't, they need to be able to secure what's in the bed. So they need to lock up their fishing gear, their hunting gear, basically everything that they put in the bed, they want to make sure it's secure, that the weather's not going to get to it. So we come down and we bring down all of our covers. Behind me, we have a Diamondback SE. That's our standard edition cover. It allows you to put 400 pounds on top. So it's not set up to haul ATVs, but as far as security, access, being able to get it off your truck in a hurry if you need it, it's going to be one of the best covers you've got. We also have a Diamondback LT cover. That's a new product we brought out this last year. It gives you security, it gives you access, gives you weather protection. That product is not designed for hauling ATVs, but you can get that product for about the price of a plastic tonneau cover that's gonna lock up your bed. This year we have a new product. It's our Diamondback Cross Bin. It's basically like a toolbox that goes underneath the bed cover so that you can actually use it uh, like a toolbox like you would with any sort of standard cross box, but you're using the Diamondback cover to seal and lock up that box. As far as aesthetics, the difference between an HD cover and an SE and an LT, from the outside, all you're gonna see is the cleats. On an HD cover, you're gonna get 12 tie-down cleats because that's really designed for hauling a ton of gear, whether it's two ATVs, whether it's 1,600 pounds of lumber, whatever, there's lots of tie-downs on that. Our standard edition comes with four tie-down cleats so you can get access to the corners when you wanna strap stuff down. Our light duty cover and our 270 and 180 cover don't come with any tie-down cleats because those covers are primarily made for guys who aren't looking to haul with their trucks. And if a customer wants to add on some additional cleats, they can do that. But primarily, the HD cover and the SC cover are gonna come with the tie-down cleats. We've been using Diamondback truck covers for years and they've always withstood all the abuse that we've put them through. Whether you're hauling heavy loads or just want to secure your gear, 
Diamondback Truck Covers makes the most durable, secure truck covers on the market. Now, they may not be the cheapest, but it's definitely the best investment for your truck in the long haul. With the Diamondback, it was designed from the start to be a cover that would let you haul more with it on than with it off, to be a cover that would give you access to the full bed, not just part of it, to be a cover that you could get off in a hurry if you needed to, because you're always going to need at some point to have that cover off. And it was really designed from the ground up with the concept that you could use your truck like a truck. Viewer Q&A, brought to you by Progressive ATV Insurance. This week's Progressive Q&A comes from a young man in Georgia named Jason. Now he wanted to know the answer to this question so bad, he called up the office and asked. So Jason, this week, this question is for you, buddy. He wants to know if I like riding sport bikes or utility bikes better. Last couple weeks I've been riding sport bikes on the show and a lot of people were asking this and I do enjoy riding a sport bike, especially in the dunes. But my favorite kind of riding is really nasty, off camber, tight wooded trails on a utility machine. So there's your answer, Jason. Fisher's ATV World has been brought to you by Quad Boss, Dirt Wheels Magazine, Discount Tire, Four Wheel ATV Action Magazine, and Wilderness Trail Off-Road Park. This tip of the week is brought to you by Warren Industries, your leader in ATV and UTV off-road products. This week's tip, I want to talk to you about the benefits of having an onboard GPS unit. Now, a lot of models coming out these days, ATVs side by sides have onboard GPS units already, but if you don't have one and you're looking for a good one, Voyager by Trail Tech makes a great unit. We've been using it for about the last year. Heavy duty, dust proof, shock proof, it's waterproof. It monitors all the readings on your ATV, the temperature, altitude, whatever information you're looking for. It is on here and one of the coolest things is it comes with a track manager CD. This allows you to monitor and edit trails you've been on and even share them in 3D. The basic feature of Voyager is you can just start out from camp, you can put a waypoint and log your tracks and get back home. Maybe a more advanced user may download tracks, uh, it comes in GPX format which are just generic GPS tracks and routes and they can load them up and look at a nice base map. You can export from Voyager to the SD micro card that comes with it. Uh, we also include a little USB thumb drive to read the card into your computer. And you can drag and drop onto either Google Earth or we provide software called Ride Leader where you can go in and view your tracks, you can view elevations. We also have a website right now up and running so you can log in, you can upload your trails and you can share them with your friends or you can share them with the world. Closed captioning for Fisher's ATV World has been brought to you by Rick's Motorsport Electric. Well, this show wraps up one of our last tour stops of our 2011 Keeping It Real Tour, and I gotta tell you, this was a huge success. We started this in mind to bring you new places to ride and to meet as many people as we could, and that's exactly what happened. We had no idea when we got out there that we were gonna meet so many cool people and find so many really cool places to ride, and there were some places that were hurting for business because people just didn't even know they were there. After we put it on television, the phones rang off the hook, a lot of you went there to ride, and we're helping these places stay in business. And that's another benefit of the tour. We get out and feature as many parks as we can and help them stay in business and make sure you got a place to ride. The 2012 tour schedule is in full swing and we are booked. We're heading all across the country and we'd love to have you come out and join us. If you're in the neighborhood, come on out and say hi. And if you're a Mug Club member, we've always got the prize box with us. Maybe we're gonna do a Mug Club ride or even a Mug Club party. You just never know what we got up our sleeves. Well, that's all the time we have this week. Thanks a lot for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the show. And if you're on the web, you can check us out at fishersatvworld.com. And until next week, ride on and keep it real. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> you are a cartoon character, you know. That's what my wife says. She says I act like a cartoon character. She says it's like being married to a cartoon character, which I don't... I don't know about that. I'm trying to think what cartoon character I would be or who I would be like. Because I just... I don't know. Have you ever christened a toilet without sticking a sticker on it? <laughs> We've done that a time or two. I got mail. <laughs>
Shut up. Yay, He's got mail. <laughs> this is nice. It's even made for ladies. It's got some pattern, female pattern design. Got a little pink in it. You can just sit here. You could hit. You could do it side saddle. Watch down through that valley right there. And watch for deer. I would like to give a shout out to Miss Grady for preparing me in gym class. All those years of high school running paid off. I was in the mud buck competition. Oh, it looks like you won. Well, I some of the mud won, but I had fun. What was your technique? I put my back into it. <laughs> I got mud and junk in my trunk. I should have brought Max along. He'd have had a good time with you. You know it. He looks like Jackie Legs off that movie with the kangaroo. <laughs> hey, huh? Yeah. Yeah. This would be a good one with the tar she's got on that one. What are they? The, look at the treads. It's got real good mud truck and treads. You all be pretty good with this one. Oh, it's an Articat. What can I say, brother? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Crap on and keep it real. Crap on and keep it real, bro. There ain't no other saying you can put on a toilet but that. I mean, ride it out. You know what I'm saying? Might get a little breezy up here on top, but you got a stream running below you. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. This is probably one of the most premium outdoor crappers I've ever had the opportunity or the privilege to tag. So if you got some in your neck of the woods, give us a call. I'll come check them out.